new research reveals that atheists are just as healthy as the religious. New research published in the Journal of Religion and Health reveals that atheists and agnostics are just as healthy and satisfied with their lives as religious people. The study was conducted by David Speed, an associate professor at the University of New Brunswick. For the study, Speed used data collected from the General Social Survey of Canada to determine whether religious positively con excuse me, whether religion positively connected with physical and psychological health in a representative sample of Canadians. The sample included 455 atheists, 215 agnostics, 2,080 uh, participants who identified as non-religious, 6,205 that were Catholics, 5,685 that were Protestants, 595 practitioners of Eastern religions, 430 individuals who belong to other faiths. The participants were asked about their religious identity, how often they prayed and attended religious services, and how religious they were. Speed failed to find any evidence that religious people had better physical health, mental health, life satisfaction, and stress compared to non-religious people, even after controlling for variables such as age, sex, household income, language, marital status, minority status, geographic location, and educational attainment. So this is really important because there is a body of research which basically says that atheism has points towards more negative health outcomes. And Speed discusses this in his paper and is basically saying that well, there's a variety of, like a lot of times those um, that research fails to properly take into account or fail to properly poll and survey non-religious people. And also they're not looking at the full breadth of like the biopsychosocial interactions that could lead to some of those negative health outcomes. Um, so this is really important <laughs> because Armin, I mean, this is something that like Dawa guys or Christian debaters will bring up all the time as reasons yeah. like why not to be atheist because we are more unhealthy. Yeah, I mean, I saw some studies that show that mental health um, and happiness and stuff, you have to break it apart into different sections, you know, and there's something that religious people, um, they're, they're better at when it comes to their mental, uh, you know, their mental health. And there are certain things that are atheist better at. I have to find a study that it breaks it apart. But um, they keep we keep getting new studies and we keep getting contradictory results. But it's important to have these in your back pocket because what the, a lot of religious people do is they cherry pick. They go and specifically look for the studies that um, shows what they wanted to show, right? So, um, but again, we shouldn't do the same thing. Like we should look at the studies that might suggest otherwise as well. Um, but it's good to, in case you are presented with a religious people, person that kind of suggests that, oh, um, religious people are living healthier, more stable, more health, mentally uh, stable lives. You just need to have this these studies in your back pocket to just like go boom, right? There was a debate that Harry Sultan did with this Muslim guy, I forgot his name. Um, and that guy was claiming the exact opposite of this, right? To show why atheism is dangerous and bad for society, so it would have good. It would have been good for Harris Sultan to have this research available to him and during mm -hmm. that debate. So now we have some. Yes. Yeah, so What's good. good about this is that it does a really good job of pointing out the limitations of that previous body of research and questions it, and is basically saying, "Is this research properly taking into account family rejection and cohesity?" Oh, so it's correlation, not causation. It's the causation is the other way around, right? It's the acceptance in society. That's a very good point. That's a very good because point. Because familial if rejection... society, if atheists, atheists might have been stronger, have stronger mental health. If the if the society was not rejecting them and demonizing them all the time. So maybe this is a you problem society where atheism becomes so difficult, not an atheism problem. This is a you problem. This is essentially a lot of the, this is a similar factor behind why we see a lot of increased mental health issues and increased substance abuse in the LGBT community. Exactly. Because it stems from the trauma of familial and societal rejection and trying to cope with that.
It's a very okay. similar thing. So yes, like because rejection is one of the most it's so torturous for us as a human animal. Like rejection is torturous for us. Like in isolation. I heard, I heard it's more painful than physical torture. That's what I heard yesterday. I mean, it is for me. <laughs> <laughs> you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese gods, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.